are you a newbie in tech or you want to switch a career into tech or maybe you're already in tech but you want a more rewarding tech role i recommend you learn data analysis data analysis over the years has seen increase in demand and are also a very competitive career so in this video i'll be giving you five tips to become a data analysis in 2024 and beyond so before we continue i want you to do one important thing which is to click the subscribe button and also turn off your notification button that whenever i post uh videos you'll be one of the first person to watch it so five tips to become a data analyst in 2024 and beyond number one making your research so you need to get an exercise book or a notepad and make your research about data analysis book you want to find the job opportunities you want to find the salary scale you also want to find the basic skills that you should get within this period second tip is set a learning goal you have to set a goal and the goal has to be specific you don't say i want to become a data analyst no it doesn't work that way you say, I want to become a data analyst in the next three months, or maybe in the next six months. So you have to set these goals. You have to make it specific. You write it down and put it where you always do. After that, the next thing you do is to put your goal. I've seen a lot of mistakes people do. They set goals and they don't meet them. Why? Because they did not program their goals. So you have to program it. You sit down, you break the goals into fragments, and you program them. For example, I want to become a junior data analyst by the end of th the next three months. So what I need to do, I need to give three hours every day of learning data analysis. So I break those three hours, we multiply them by six days in the week or maybe seven days in the week. You multiply them, you know the number of hours you're going to give into this. And then you now program it. I go to work in the morning, but I have breaks in the afternoon by 12. So I will give it one hour by 12. One is 12 to 1 is for data analysis. Then I come back in the evening by 6 and I rest. Once it's 8, 9, 10, I give another two hours. So now what you do is that you program your learning pathway. And whenever you come to that point in time, you know that what I'm meant to be doing now is to learn my data analysis so after programming your goal the next thing you're going to do is evaluating your learning process with a project and this is a mistake a lot of people make they just continue learning without evaluating you need to stop at a point at the end of the first month you ask yourself questions like what have i learned what can i apply so you get project on what you learned and you do those projects and save those projects why because you're going to need those projects when you are applying for job the final tips i'll talk to you about is getting a mentor a mentor they say is your tormentor a mentor is very important in every learning endeavor your mentor is someone who has gone ahead of me in that field who will hold your hand and help you pass through the hurdles because there are many hurdles in the learning pathway i've seen a lot of people who started the third rule but they will not able to finish it why because they lost interest but a mentor will make sure you don't lose interest the mentor will teach you and help you so that you will not make the mistake he made okay and your mentors will also recommend projects for you and even when you start looking for a job your mentor will help you to land your first data analyst job if you watch to this point i have a good news for you in digital dream ict academy we offer data analysis and we have qualified teachers not just that we are project based and student centered so here when you register with us at the end of your course we will also link you to mentors who will hold your hand to learn your first data analysis job you can visit any of our offices in the southeast or you call the number below see you there thank you